In 1912, an American film studio was formed called Universal Pictures. Universal is a giant movie making machine. They're one of the biggest and one of the most influential film studios of all time, and they're still going after 106 years. Since I am a fan of history and logos, I've decided to look into Universal to see what I can find, and did I find some interesting stuff. We know the main film logos, but over the last few years, especially recently, people have discovered more logos than expected, and I am going to present all of what I find interesting to you. So, without further ado, let's begin the secret logos of Universal 1912 to 1967. For a long time, people thought that the first logo from Universal was this one from 1914 to 1919, but that is no longer the case. Some logo enthusiasts have found this logo dating as early as 1913. We reckon this logo retired in 1918. Quite a few versions of this logo have been discovered, including a black and white version and a green toned version. There's also this find from 1914, although I speculate that this might be a different logo entirely. But I have been able to discover a logo earlier than this one from 1913. It looks like this. This logo looks very similar to this print logo, but Universal's print logos open different doors, so we'll talk about them in a minute. I went digging a bit more and found a black and white version of this logo, which is probably the main version of this logo. This sepia toned version is unfortunately a still image. In fact, the film that this logo might have appeared on is most likely lost. One of the biggest problems with finding old logos prior to the 1920s is that most of the films prior to the 1920s are, disappointingly, lost. Preservation wasn't taken seriously back then, hence why most films are lost or have very little information. For the films that we do have preserved, they are deteriorated and don't age well. Universal is a prime example. Most of their films from the 1910s are lost, which makes finding old logos difficult. It's pretty much impossible to find footage of this 1913 find at this point, since the film it supposedly appeared on has insufficient information. Another version of this logo has been uncovered, and it looks like this, although I have no clue if it is real or not. This logo needs to be put on the CRG wiki. I also found this logo from 1913. That is the oldest on-screen logo from Universal that I know of, but I have been able to find an even older print logo from Universal which very few people have seen. Keep in mind that Universal was founded on the 30th of April 1912. This secret print logo is from June to July 1912, and it looks like this. This stunned me when I first found it. In fact, this logo alone was one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. This logo was also seen on this film poster. I've only seen this logo from 1912, so it might have only been used for less than a year. The first print logo from Universal that is on the CRG wiki is this one, and it says it was used in 1914 and from 1920 to 1923. The second one says it was used from 1914 to 1990. Although I don't know exactly when the second one was introduced and retired, one thing that I do know is that both of these logos were used simultaneously. The first one was seen more on promotions and the second one was seen more on film posters. As I previously mentioned, this one could be the print logo of the 1913 logo. In fact, I have seen this print logo in 1913 and I believe I found it in 1912. This makes me think that this on-screen logo and this on-screen logo could have been used simultaneously in 1912 and in 1913. The earliest date I have of this print logo is 1914, but the retiring date is questionable. Universal had a third print logo in the 1910s, which looks like this. This is obviously the 1914 on-screen logo in print form. I was able to find a rare sepia tone version of this logo from 1914, 
which surprised me. Was the so-called 1914 print logo seen from 1915 to 1920? The CIG wiki says that it wasn't. Well, it wasn't. This print logo was definitely used from 1914 to 1919. This print logo was seen as well, but rarely. I decided to have a look for variants of the 1914 to 1919 print logo. Each film poster, lobby card and promotion seemed to have a different version of this print logo, but I found one that confused me. This is what I am talking about. At first, I had no idea what this print logo was supposed to represent. The IKE text covering the VER and Universal is incomprehensible. Well, what you're looking at is a print logo of a series of comedic short films. Alkali Ike was a series of shorts from the early 1900s. It consisted of a character called Alkali Ike, played by Augustus Carney. The series was originally released by SNA Studios, but Carney left SNA to join Universal in 1914. The series continued under a new name called Universal Ike. Alkali Ike was copyrighted by SNA, so the name had to change. This series was so popular, so Universal created a print logo out of this series and the character. Carney left the film industry in 1916 and died in 1920 at age 50. So, that's that. I searched for stuff from Universal from the late 1910s and I found this. What you're looking at is one of the first subsidiaries of Universal. I don't know a whole lot about Universal Screen Magazine, but I believe that they were reels talking about news or short films. The date for this logo is somewhere between 1917 and 1919. Only a small handful of their reels are available, so we don't know a whole lot about them. Their logo is very interesting, so that's why I included them. Curiously, most film posters from the 1920s didn't have a print logo on them. Some had a logo on them, but most didn't. This is the odd but rare 1920 logo from Universal. It retired in 1922. If you look closely, you can see that this on-screen logo is the same as this print logo, hence why the date on the CIG wiki says 1920 to 1923. But the 1920 logo retired in 1922, didn't it? According to the CLG wiki, the 1920 logo retired on the 11th of January 1922, whilst the next logo was seen on the 2nd of September 1923. According to Wikipedia, Universal made 104 films from the 11th of January 1922 and the 2nd of September 1923. What on-screen logo appeared on these? Well, it's most likely the 1923 logo. This logo is more common than the 1920 logo, but I'm not 100% sure. When did the 1923 logo retire? On the CRG wiki, the date says 1927 with a question mark. The next Universal logo, introduced in 1925, also says 1927 with a question mark. So far, no print logo resembling the 1925 logo has been discovered. Only a handful of films have the 1925 logo. Apparently, the next logo, which looks like this, was first seen on the 9th of September, 1927. Universal did release a film on the 9th of September called The Cat and the Cannery. But, I found this YouTube video of the opening to the film, which has the 1923 logo on it. The availability section for the 1923 logo does include the cat and the cannery, so what's going on there? The 1923 print logo was seen on the poster of the cat and the cannery without the pictures text, which is a very cool find. The print logo, according to the CRG wiki, retired in 1927, but it doesn't have a specific date. This print logo didn't retire in 1927. I will tell you when it did retire when I get to it. Before I show you the next print logo, I'm going to show you a cartoon version of this logo. It looks like this. This was seen on cartoons like Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Oswald made his first appearance on the 5th of September 1927. I checked and this logo did appear on it, so we have an introduction date. Not many people know when this logo was discontinued, but like the print logo this logo was based on, I will tell you when I get to it. The next print logo, which looks like this, launched in 1927 and apparently was abolished in 1936. I found a film poster with the logo from 1929, so it was used, but it was rarely used. Things get simpler for Universal after the 1920s, however. In 1929, Universal started making something which they would continuously make until 1967. They were newsreels. In 
1929, Universal launched Universal Newsreels. They were one of the main three newsreel manufacturers. The other two are British Pathé and Paramount News. There are 11 pictures on the Logopedia page of Universal Newsreels, although there are more than that. Keep in mind that most of these logos don't have full dates, since we have limited information about Universal Newsreels. Thankfully, archiving companies have archived some of their newsreels, which makes it easier for logo enthusiasts to find more logos from them. I am very surprised that there is no CRG wiki page of Universal's news arm yet. Anyway, the first logo from them is this one. Pretty boring considering how every film logo from Universal had a glow, but whatever. On Logopedia, the date says 1929 to 1930s question mark. I had a look at newsreels from Universal from the 1930s to see what I could find. I did find what looks like a variant of this in 1939, but I wasn't able to find it after that. The only difference between the normal version and the variant I found from 1939 is that there is text at the top saying the new Universal presents. This is the only newsreel logo from Universal where there is no globe, at least from what's on Logopedia. Before we get on to the next new reels logo, I will need to tell you when the 1923 print logo retired and when the 1927 cartoon logo retired. Well, rather surprisingly, the print logo retired in 1931, and the cartoon logo was replaced in 1932 with this. <laughs> this is a variant of the 1927-1936 logo. At the time, that logo was the most popular from Universal. But, I was able to find two variants of the cartoon logo where characters stand on the text. We can now move on to the next New Reels logo from Universal. It looks like this. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of this logo, I only have an image. I really wanted to find out if this logo was still all animated. I believe this logo was in use from 1932 to 1933, and it was replaced or maybe upgraded to this. The earliest date of this logo being a thing is 1933, the latest date I got was 1935. On Logopedia, the date for this logo says 1933 question mark to 1935. I do think this logo was in use from 1933 to 35. We're coming towards the end of the 1927 logo's life. In 1936, the on-screen logo was replaced with this. Nicknamed the Art Deco Globe, this logo has become quite popular and was used all the way up to the 15th of December 1947. But it wasn't. I'll get onto that later. The print logo changed to this. Like the 1923 print logo, plenty of versions of this logo exist, and I've uncovered two. The first one has the banner visually seen going down instead of up, and the second one has the banner in the centre, only saying Universal. Interestingly, the versions were seen on international film posters, or in other words, film posters in different languages. This is the same with the 1923 print logo. According to the CRG wiki, this logo retired in 1946, which it did indeed. But, as I just said, the on-screen logo has a more interesting story about its retirement date. In 1935, the newsreel logo was replaced with this. Weirdly, I wasn't able to find footage of this logo from the 1930s, but I did find some from 1941. 1941 was the latest date I got for this logo. The early 40s was the only time period I wasn't really able to find much from Universal Newsreels. Because of that, I wasn't able to find a video of this logo. But, I believe that this logo was used from 1941 to 1944. The next logo was used until 1946. I was able to find footage of it in 1944, but not before that. From the early to late 1940s, during the newsreels, you'd come across a screen looking like this. 
This tells you what a section of the reel is about, and presumably who produced the reel or the story. The top left corner always had a Universal Newsreel logo on it. If you're lucky, you might find one with a copyright date. But, I did find one from 1946 or 1947 that said Universal International Newsreel. I've only seen this once. This would turn into this Newsreel logo, which would be used from 1946 to the early 50s. Before I talk about that logo, I need to tell you when the 1936 logo retired. On the CRG wiki, the abolishment date says the 15th of December, 1947. But, according to Wikipedia, Universal didn't release a film on the 15th of December 1947. They did release one on the 1st, one on the 25th, and one on the 26th, but not on the 15th. So what's going on there? Let me show you when it did retire. The 1936 logo retired on the 16th of August, 1946. The Killers, which was released on the 30th of August, has the Universal International logo on it. The introduction date for the UI logo on the CRG Wiki is the 28th of August, 1946. Universal did release a film on the 28th of August called Brief Encounter, but only in the USA distributively. The film was originally released in November 1945 in the UK first. I had a look at the film Brief Encounter, but I couldn't find a US version of it. I could only find the UK version. So that's that story. We can now continue with the Universal News Real logos. This logo, according to Logopedia, was used from 1946 to the 1950s, but they don't know exactly. The latest date I got for this logo is 1953. I couldn't find it in 1954. In fact, I couldn't find much from 1954. This logo might have been discontinued in 1954, but I don't know completely. This logo could have retired in 1955, because that was the earliest date I got for the next logo. The normal film print logo used at the time was this one. This was updated in 1960, and from 1960 to 1963, it looked like this. I had a look at film posters from 1946, and I found something extremely odd. Have you ever seen the 1946 logo where the text looks really blocky? Well, I have. As I've said previously, international film posters seem to have variants of the normal print logo. This still applies for the 1946 print logo. I found a French film poster of the film Temptation, which was released on the 2nd of December, 1946. I've deliberately cut off the print logo because it's really surprising. Do you want to see it? Well, this is what it looks like. What's even more interesting is that I found it again on the Italian film poster of Temptation. It would be really cool if an on-screen version of this existed, but as far as I know, it doesn't. Back to Universal Newsroom. We find ourselves at this logo. The earliest date I got for this logo is 1955, like I said. On Logopedia, it says that this logo retired in 1963, but it didn't. I was able to find this logo from 1964, but not after that. I was able to find a closing version without the globe from 1953 and from 1964. In 1963, the film logo changed to this. This is my favourite logo from Universal Pictures. I don't know why, but it is. The print logo from 1963 to 1990 looks like this. This was genuinely it. It's completely different to the others, but it was definitely used. Sometimes, at the end of a film from 1963 to 1990, you would see this. This explains why this print logo became a thing, but it is still very odd. Anyway, we have reached the final few years of Universal News Reels. In 1965, the logo changed to this. This logo would change later on to include the 1963 to 1990 print logo. There was also a closing version where it just said the end, and there was also a version that looked like this. The place would be different, but the print logo would stay the same. In 1967, Universal stopped making news reels, and that was the end of Universal News Reels after 38 years, with over 10 logos. A very interesting thing to talk about, no doubt. Let me show you all of the Newsreel logos that I've collected.
Universal is one of my favourite film companies of all time. Their logos are very memorable and satisfying to see at the start of a movie. They have had dozens of logos across their time, and it has been fun looking at some of the rare, but really fascinating stuff from them. Like other major film companies, there is probably more stuff from Universal that we have yet to see, but I am glad with the logos that I have discovered over the last few months. It's nice to know that after 106 years, Universal is still going, and they have no plans of stopping, and us logo enthusiasts also have no plans of stopping. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.